Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 5. I'm Michael. And I'm Callie. And this is the end. Thank God, I'm so done. <laughs> yeah, we're finishing up Mario Party 6 and it feels like it's taken for Six? Uh, Mario Party 5. Six. <laughs> Six. I, I'm just like, yeah, I want to be on 6 already. No, you don't. I do want to apologize for how my attitude has been throughout this, uh... Yeah, we, we've been very down on the game, and I know that's probably not been the most... Fun to watch. And we do apologize for that, especially <clears> anyone <throat> who does enjoy the game. Like, our good friend Roy, and I'm sorry, Roy. Yeah. I've let you down. For the next game, we will do our best to, uh... I mean, yeah, let's just give everyone nine. No! <laughs> uh, we'll try our best to not be so down on the game. I think um, the biggest problem was that it, you're coming off the high of four. Well, at least yeah. I am. And I really enjoyed four. <clears throat> yeah, I really enjoyed four, too. That's probably been the best one so far. Yeah, Mario number, Party. like, Mario Party 4 is my f number one Mario Party of all time. Besides Advance. Advance and Mario Party 4 are my favorites. Yeah. Advance was so good. Oh, I miss playing Advance. <laughs> I like how this all started from playing Mario Party Advance. Yeah, we just started playing that and we're like, hey, let's just let's play all the fucking Mario Parties. Because that would be great. There's no downside. There's no way that could ever go wrong. It went wrong. No, it didn't. It went right. <laughs> No, it's been fun. The the game the series has its high and lows. We we know this. Every game does. Every game series does. And we're just at that point right now, but we kinda gotta just push through it and hopefully six we don't don't uh have as bad a time. <laughs> well we'll see. And we're now at the point where we don't know what story modes are going to be like, or if there are any. Well, then we might have a shorter time. Maybe we'll yeah. finish this within a year. Yeah. Oh my god, could you imagine? What else like, are we going to do with our lives? Yeah, I've been like, oh man, when we're done Mario Party, we can LP other games. And then I'm like, what What other games do we LP? <laughs> <laughs> our channel has been Mario for... <laughs> For like two years. I'm, I'm surprised our mascot <laughs> isn't just playing Mario Party. <laughs> we do a questionnaire. What do you know uh, the Great White North to do? Uh, play Mario Party. Mario Party. You know, all of them. Except for DS. When you think of Canadians, what do you think about? Uh, Mario, Party. Mario Party. Yeah. Not like poutine. Love poutine. You clearly went the better way. Clearly. Okay, how do I reset? Why? Okay. Good job. You rocked that time. Apparently when you feel awful, <laughs> you can uh, do puzzles better. Yeah, you were playing Professor Layton earlier. Yeah, I kind of fucked up one of the puzzles, like one of the uh, second puzzles. Yeah. Because I forgot... Because I remembered it, but I just couldn't remember what um, I was supposed to be looking for. I was supposed to be looking at the shadows. Right, okay. But I was looking at the dog, and I was like, oh, yeah, these three pictures have the dog. They must go together. And I'm like, oh, I fucked up. That's okay. We've been doing a lot of puzzles lately. Yeah, I've been watching Voidburger play that puzzle agent, which, which I... Which is great. I really like it. Which I kind of wish Telltale would go back to that kind of stuff. I'm also it's... really into... Um, stardew right now yeah though i haven't played it in a week but it's been it's yeah it's been a week though i i kind of want to buy that um uh, portia portia oh the one that uh straw hats playing. straw hats straw thorn brain yeah yeah I'm, i really like i have it on my wish list i've had it there for a while i just haven't had the like balls I to <laughs> pull the trigger yeah but it it looks like something i would enjoy it definitely looks like it's very early do you think you'd maybe wait for um that's kind of why i've been waiting yeah uh, 
There's a star right there. And uh, I, I actually cleared up my wish list on Steam. Did you? Yeah, there's only one game on it now. Oh, okay. I usually don't have much on there, so I'm... Yeah. Well, I mean, Aw, like, so close. I, I'm kind of... There's nothing really on Steam right now that I'm aware of that I'm like... You super duper want? Yeah, because I was like, back a while ago, I was like, oh, I want all these games, and I'm just kind of like, not really. Like, I'm kind of good. Like... Got other priorities now. So. Yeah. I hate the rumble. The rumble makes my tummy hurt. No. Oh, I was stuck in a falling animation. That was weird. Um. No. Okay, still have the most. Just run and hide. No, Wario, why? Oh, you can ground pound. Well, I'm just gonna hide. I don't like this game, so. This mini game. I think I did this last time we played this one, too. <gasps> Those bastards, they took my gems. Yeah, y'all fight over those two. Huh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Good job. I I don't. You like gave this. up. Yeah, yeah, I don't I... like this one. I'm fine with losing this mm. one. Um, but it, yeah, like currently it's E3 weekend. Yeah. So it's kind of just like that point where it's like, okay, there's games coming up, maybe, maybe. Oh, did you hear about the release date for Kingdom Hearts? I do not hear what date it is. I heard it's going to be next year. January 2019. 19? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, okay. No, January of 20 million years from now. You know what? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Though I heard that they've pushed it because they've taken a lot of community feedback. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be making some changes, mm -hmm. which is good. It's good to hear from the community that enjoys the game and what uh, community feedback like did like, uh, what does that mean? I heard it had to do with like a lot of fans, probably people who got to play the early builds. Oh, okay. And then a lot of speedrunners, also. Mm -hmm. So just uh, doing some changes. So it make like I'd rather them take the time to make a complete game than to just put it out because it's been years. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we con collecting bananas? Yeah, and there's ones that are... Slippy. This doesn't control very well no, on No, the stick. slippy ones are very... They have a wide hitbox. Like, way wider than it looked. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like... So yesterday we watched E3. Uh, For EA. EA. Yeah. And we're just like, eh... <sighs> Last year, I was really excited for Anthem. Wow, because... look at all those coins. <laughs> look at all oh those chickens. <laughs> oh my god, we were at fucking lunch with my mom, and I'm like, Avocado. Oh my god, and then your mom looked at you like you were a fucking moron. She looked at him like he was having a stroke. <laughs> oh, you need some Avocado. <laughs> People really like Avocado. Oh my god. People really like Avocado. Avocado. Yeah, you know. Then you had to explain the meme and the vine to your mother. And she laughed. Yeah, but after you explained it. Yeah, of course. Wait, so if you beat him, you get a star? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I got a star from DK. That's some literal bullshit. Yeah, that was bullshit. The powers of Bower's Nightmare is filling me with strength. Wouldn't that be a thing? You get a bonus for the board you're on? Oh my god. You could just There'd see be... people fighting to yeah. get, like, a certain character. But yeah, so I was, like, really excited for Anthem last year, and now I watched a bit of this year, and I'm just like... Sorry. Burger King is yeah. horrible for breakfast. Yeah, it is. Um, and now I'm just kind of like, eh... I don't even remember seeing it. I think I fell asleep. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. But like, so the ones out of EA were just... Uh, the only ones I were excited for was Unraveled 2, but I probably won't buy it. I no. would probably just watch somebody play it. Yeah. 
and um, SOS Sea of Sorrows. Uh, yeah. So sea that of one Sorrow? Looked... Solitude. Solitude. Sea of Solitude. It looked good. I don't know if I would play that one either, though. Yeah, I'm not entirely... Because I'm... The other... My other problem is I don't really want to support EA. Yeah, that's the tough part. And oh my god, all their, like, clips showed Sims, and then they didn't talk about Sims at all. They only showed seasons. They probably knew the Sims community would be... Because I used to be part of the Sims community. Now I'm kind of out of the loop, because I don't really want to support them for that cause. Yeah. Um, And I can explain that in a bit, but... Um, I'm sure they knew that people from the Sims community would be watching to see what new updates they possibly could be announcing for the Sims 4 because there have been, I guess, some major changes in staffing. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure they knew that the Sims community would be watching and waiting to see an update about it. So I'm sure that's a reason they put it in, is to kind of lure you into seeing about it. Yeah, they're like, we're and, still making it. And there's also um, an expansion pack for Seasons, which the community has been asking for for a long time for. Yeah, I remember that being one of my favorite parts of The Sims 3. Yeah, I really liked Seasons. That was one of, I think, the, the first expansions that we got for Sims 3. I'm yeah, pretty sure you got it, and then I was like, eh, I don't really care, and then you got it, and I was like, oh, fuck, I want that, too. It's like, I do care. I do care. But, um, but yeah, so, like, I'm, I used to love playing The Sims. You fucks. I didn't have a choice. Um, but with how they've made it so that, like, the base game when we, I bought Sims 4 was very incomplete. Yeah, it was. Um, and then the expansions themselves have gotten ridiculous to the point where um, I bought pets. And then a month later, they released a expansion pack for pets for more pets and more items that should have just been in the original. Yeah. They're just trying to make as much money as they can. Yeah, so I'm just not into it. Who's the easy one again? Wario? Uh, I think so. I don't care. Uh, coins. Yeah, no, we're not too into EA. And like, no, it's... and then I think today was... Uh, Microsoft. And Bethesda? Um, I can check because I have it up on here. Microsoft, yeah, and Bethesda. Microsoft's going to be at 2 o'clock for us and Bethesda at 7.30. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't fair. I'm really bad at this game. No, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you pick up your phone and I'm like, Michael, you're gonna play but I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna tell him, I'm gonna see how long it takes for him to realize what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so he has his controller in his lap, he hasn't touched it and the game starts and he looks at it and it's like, like, oh shit! Oh no, it's me! <laughs> oh my oh, god, was, you're such an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I need the bathroom now. <laughs> uh, after Leaf Leaf. <laughs> no, you can't go. I can't go? We're in the middle of recording. Oh, okay, I can hold it. Oh boy, oh, that, my was, goodness, that I, was good. I was not paying attention at all. No, no, really? You weren't? <laughs> I did it again. This is what happens when you don't LP for three weeks. Well, that's not true. You played some Eureka. That's true. Oops. And I also didn't do too good in that recording. Okay, I gotta shut up. I gotta do this. Well, I'm not gonna beat Toad. Well, that sucked. <sighs> Seeing the beanstalk makes me want to watch that, uh, 
um, fairy tale movie or TV show we watched a couple months back. You mean on Netflix, the yeah. one where it's like not the where like Cinderella retelling of fairy tales. Yeah, where like or not Cinderella, but Red Riding Hood fucking murders the wolf and yeah. wears his like clothes as a cloak, and I'm just like, oh my god, this took a turn. Mm-hmm. It was so good. I kind of wish they had done more. Yeah. It was a good... I think it was like three or four episodes. Yeah. It was, it was really very good. very short, but very good. They did a good job making the world, and I guess murder's okay in that world. <laughs> or the, the lines are very blurred between, like... But technically, right and wrong are very blurred lines. We could get into a discussion about morals. Yeah, that's true. But, like... Because, like... I feel like that's a complicated line, though, to, like, discuss is because I, it depends on your belief and what you believe to be right and wrong. Yeah. Uh, what is this doing again? It's the bank. So you can put it on yourself and then probably nothing will happen, and but then Toad and I will be yeah. forced. Oh. Oh, say, okay. okay well, no, well, it yeah. took up inventory space. I'll take it back. You got the star anyway. Yeah, that's all that matters. I still really like how shiny mm. the star is. Mm. It's really good. That's good. I do think the aesthetic for Bowser's Nightmare is kind of neat. It feels like uh, Super Mario World. Mm-hmm. With Bowser's Castle, or even uh, Paper Mario. I love Paper Mario. Maybe that's what we should play next. <laughs> I've never yeah. finished it, though, because I always get stuck on the boss. The final boss. Yeah. Man, that'd be interesting going from like, yeah, let's do a, let's do every Mario Party. And it's like, oh, the next one right after. Let's do a full RPG. Mm. I mean, I like RPGs. I do, too. Stuck. Let me out. Ah. My passiveness didn't work. <laughs> I got stuck on their arm, I think. I don't know. I tried to move <laughs> up, but it didn't move up. Well, this is going better than expected. Yeah. But we're only like maybe five turns in. <laughs> One thing. Six. six. One thing I really hope Mario Party 6 brings back is the last ten turns. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Instead of the five? Yeah. yeah. Like, just so I know, like, when editing, I'm like, okay, there's halfway. And instead, I'm, like, scrolling through the video counting each mini game. Mm hmm Unless I, like, time it right with the pause. You know? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, which you've done quite a few times, and it's helped out a lot. You're welcome. I want your coins. Yeah. <clears throat> You're fucked, you fucker. <laughs> Get wrecked, Toad. <laughs> I'm excited for Wreck It Ralph, too. Oh my god, yeah. It looks so good. Man, I remember the fucking computer's able to, like, stun lock you. I can't see anything, which is the sucky part. Stop. Like, every time I'm about to shoot it at him, he, like... Oh, God, I hate this game. Get out of here, Man, you fucker. good job. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph 2 looks so good. Yeah. I love that princess scene that they, they have. showed. Yeah. Uh, I, and I've seen a uh, screenshot of all the actresses together. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, what a moment. Like, for all of these princesses to be in the same 
like seen together. Yeah. I mean, being a Disney princess is pretty cool. Like, that's the dream to be a Disney princess. Yeah. Oh my god. So, um, you and I were watching a, um, the FBE React the other day. Right. Okay, I wanted which to, one? The, the one with the new Maroon 5 song. Okay, yes. Um, I was just thinking about princesses, which made me think about me being a princess, which made me think about, like, how stereotypical yeah. the princess form usually is. Yeah. Or, like, the I ideal imagery of uh, the body shape of... A princess? Or any woman in typical media. Right. Um, which made me then think of that video, which is why I brought it up. Right. And I know specifically what part you're talking about. You know, ex ex you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You, well, you go on ahead then. So at the end of it, they were showing off all the women, all these amazing women. Yeah. Um, Which all, with a lot of diversity, I will yeah, admit. It was a lot, lot of diversity. diversity of color and body shape yeah. to some extent. Um, but uh, the reactor specifically said great diversity with many uh, diversity and shapes and sizes. And you look over it and there's really no diversity in size. No. Like... There is a diversity in body shape, but when people say size, I think now they think of just like if you have hips, if you're a little skinnier, if you have bigger boobs, if you have a tummy, but nobody really talks about size as I kind of imagine it, which is that size is also not just like body shape in terms of curviness. Yeah. But in terms of actual, like... Weight. Right. Yeah. So, like, I myself am quite... I don't know what you would... I would I would say I'm a pear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a heavy yeah. bottom, it, I and my top is really skinny. <laughs> yeah, you're the pear shape. I am a pear shape. It reminds but me But I of... didn't see one woman there with my, I, my body shape. No. In my weight category. Like, and weight changes uh, drastically based on height. Mm -hmm. Like you could have five people all the same weight be at different heights and have different body shapes. But like the problem definitely came from the, uh, the people there as powerful as all of those women are. Which is amazing because you have people of color and people of different like sexual orientation. Yeah, it was incredible. And it, it, I think it's amazing I just, what I said to you when we watched it was, it's a baby step. Yeah. Just like I always feel that it's a baby step. You didn't see one obese woman on that whole... Yeah, you don't see anyone that... You didn't see the woman that plays um, the bearded lady in This Is Me or someone like um, Melissa McCarthy or... No. Anybody of a bigger nature. Which is a big problem in media is that even though like... Even though, like... Even though it's, I wouldn't say that people of that of our size and that are not portrayed in media. It's just when showcasing when, a diverse group of people, it's not really shown a lot. No. If ever, really. Oh, I think I got sucked. Yeah, I got fucked. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, it could have been worse. But, um, that was my complaint with it. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. Oh, that is a walk. Excuse me. But that's oh. my problem with, um, that comment of, oh, look at all this diversity, is that I feel like it's a baby step to diversity. It's not a full jump. Especially since they specifically said sizes. And it's right. like it wasn't... Unless I missed something. No, no. All the women were about the same kind of, like, weight category yeah. where you can... Like, it was no, like, big, big women. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Which... Yeah. Which is... I understand where they're going with it. But I just feel like there's more that you could do. Yeah, there's there's more that you could definitely showcase and show off. And mm -hmm. it's sad that we don't get that. And I think um, 
the song This Is Me from The Greatest Showman is probably... The greatest song of all time for yeah, me. Yeah, it's one of the most... Inc- wow, really, Callie? <laughs> First one and it's gold. <laughs> Fuck. What? Oh, that was you. Uh, Toad. I was gonna be like, you did it twice? <laughs> I'm trying, but Toad getting in the fucking way. Oh. He got another gold one. Shenanigans. <laughs> um, it, it's probably one of the most powerful songs I think of the last couple years. Yeah. Um, in the context Mostly of the with movie, who, in context of the movie, plus the woman that's singing it. I yeah. watched the behind the scenes for um, them showing off the song to, I don't yeah, know, producers That, that was whatever. one of the songs they were using to get the movie greenlit. Right. And, like, if she hadn't sung it, I don't think it would have had as much impact. Yeah. Because she's the one that sang it, it had more impact. Yeah. And watching her start nervously is something that, like, I really relate to. Mm-hmm. Because... Because of our size, we get judged so easily because yeah. people assume that we can't do something. Right. I remember being told, uh, not specifically me being told, um, but in grade six, uh-huh. uh, our teacher was talking about some discrimination stuff and specifically that there was a large group of people that thought fat people were dumber Specifically because their body was using more energy to consume all the food rather than to think. That's an actual thought? That was an actual thing. I don't know if that's still a thing that people think, but that was one of the things that I remember being taught that there is a group of people that do think that way. And it's just like, that's ridiculous. Holy fuck. Well, then I must be really low on my potential scale of having an A+. plus grade in every fucking subject throughout my school years. Yep. Uh, we need to go... Oh, sorry. So you need to... Oh, I fucked up. Well, it doesn't matter what I do. Okay, you need to go red. Red, and then... Oh. oh, sorry, hon. Finish! Yeah, I kind of thought we were fucked yeah, anyway. Yeah, that was a rough one. That wasn't as rough as the one where I got stuck with the two computers. So that was... Still rough. Yeah, that timing is a bit tough. Mm-hmm. But, like, um... I don't know. I don't know if I've talked about this on stream. I know I've talked to you about it. But my mother is also a bigger woman. Yeah. And... You would think that she would have the mindset to be more supportive, but I think my mom just sucks. <laughs> but um, when I was a kid, my brother was taking karate lessons, and I wanted to do something too to to follow into like what I wanted and what my interests were. My brother did karate because he had um, a lot of bullying, right? So I wanted an outlet too, and my mom said, "Of course, yeah, sure, we'll get you something." And so she said to me, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I want to take dance classes. I want to maybe try like ballet, like ballet. And she looked at me dead in my face and she said, girls our size don't do ballet or dance. Um, And I was like probably 11. That's not good. I was 11. Uh, That sounds like something she'd say. Yeah. So, because I was a bigger size, I was told I can't do something. So, to see people that are doing those things, it makes an impact. Like, I wish that I had grown up seeing Whitney Thor, who is a dance dancer. Yeah. With... I wish I could have seen somebody like her dancing because that would have been a great influence i wish i could have seen bigger women singing because i was always told because i also wanted to be a singer that i couldn't do those things because of my size 
Which is really a shame because you have such a beautiful voice. Aw, thank you. But it, the thing is that it has a long-lasting effect on kids when you tell yeah. them they can't do something because of what they look like. Yeah. It shouldn't be because you look like that. It shouldn't even be because you're not good at it. It should never be a no. It should always be like, go for it. Like, just go and have fun. Just go and do it. It's going to give them the self-confidence in the long run. Yeah, it's definitely going to give the self-confidence. Oh. Because then you wonder why kids, like, don't go for achieving more. It's because us as parents don't support our children enough to where they have the self-confidence to go up to people and be themselves. We don't give them enough security. I think the thought behind parenting nowadays is that you don't want to coddle your child. Yeah. And I don't believe in that. I believe that... There is a line between hindering and there's a line between giving them the self-confidence to be able to do it themselves. That could that line is going to be different for every kid, but you need to know and pay attention to your kid. Yeah. Like I wish that my parents had been more understanding or had given a fuck. But like that's not how it happened. I had to learn to have self-confidence by myself. Which was really hard. I didn't have self-confidence oh, until like high school. And even then I didn't have enough self-worth because of my childhood. It wasn't until probably meeting you that I had a lot more of self-confidence and the self-worth put together. And then being with you has made that grow over the years. Yeah. Which I'm glad. Because, like, you're incredible. Aw, you're incredible, too. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you. More gushy crap. I was going with the incredible, too. Oh. But uh, more gushy crap, probably. More gushy crap. Anyway, my point was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maroon 5. <laughs> Maroon 5. Good step. You need it, to do more. Please move yourself further along. <laughs> From the Great White North. <laughs> like, they never us, see this. <laughs> us of the Great White North are telling you, Maroon 5. <laughs> this amazing song band to step up your game. <laughs> I do love Maroon 5, though. I like their music. Ah, ah. Get the fuck away from me. Whoa, that was close. Oh, fuck. I'm out. Oh, God, I just ran off like an asshole in the night. <laughs> <laughs> and two coins. <sighs> oh, he's going to just use it on himself? 